Well, today marks 50 years of business for a popular family bowling center. 2822 Eyewitness News reporter Nicole Rogers sat down with one of the owners to reflect on the last half century. This was me back in 72. Daniel Chaco has been bowling since he was five years old. 50 years ago, on June 21st, 1972, his father, John Chaco, signed the paperwork officially purchasing Jimmy Central Lanes, which would come to be known as Chaco's Family Bowling Center. It was like 8 o'clock at night. He went with, with my mother and came back and said, well, we're the owners of a bowling center now. Never expecting, hours later, Wilkes-Barre would experience its most devastating flood in history. That was probably about 12, 12 feet there, easy. The Agnes disaster that changed everything. The next morning, that's when everyone started getting evacuated and the flood hit and that was it. <laughs> it took a lot of hard work, but the Chaco family and a few friends were destined to get this bowling alley running. You know, I remember when we finally opened our place, uh, I, I bowled probably uh, 10 nights a week. <laughs> that's, how, that's how much we enjoyed bowling. Now, decades later, they are celebrating Chaco's Family Bowling Center's 50th birthday in a 40-lane, family-friendly staple in the Wilkes-Barre community. So half a century later, what message do you have for the people that have loved Chaco's from the start? Well, I'm just happy everybody enjoys us here and they're all having a good time. His father's dream from 1972. If your dad could see this place today, what do you think he'd say? Oh, he, he would have loved it. He would have been a proud, proud person. In Wilkes-Barre, Nicole Rogers, 2822. Eyewitness News.